Welcome to this web lecture on the two index formulation of the vehicle routing problem. In a previous web lecture, we looked into the general definition of the vehicle routing problem, where we used three indices. And then also we immediately saw what the problem is with this third index, because it, it results in a lot of symmetries. So now we're going to attempt to model the same problem, but without all of those symmetries, so without all the computational overhead. So let's look back into the example that we've been using. So Cool TUE delivers pre-ordered ice cream to customers in and around Eindhoven using their fleet of cargo bikes. The question is, how can Cool TUE ensure to visit all customers? So not only using one vehicle, but multiple vehicles. So this is extremely similar to STSP, but has multiple vehicles. So what we're going to circumvent is those so-called symmetries that I talked about in the beginning. So the fact that it doesn't make a difference if the blue truck serves this route up here or the red truck serves this route and we could just easily switch them. So in the TSP, we have locations, we have um, the transport costs as, as input sets and parameters. Then we have a decision variable which tells us if we're traveling from I to J. As constraints, we have flow conservation and visit, we have subterra elimination and we have domain restriction. And in our objective, we minimize that entire transport costs. If we would like to introduce multiple different vehicles, but we would like to keep this with just two indices, then we can enter K as in the number of vehicles as a parameter. That means that we don't have to change the de decision variable. So X just keeps those two indices, I and J, but now it just refers to a, a cargo bike or a truck traveling from one location to another and no longer which explicitly, is it the red one or the blue one? So that means that we have to split the flow conservation and visit constraint so instead of, um, instead of having one constraint, which tells us that at every node we visit exactly once, we now differentiate at the depot. So at the depot, we have the same number of arcs coming in as going out, and this number is at most k. While at all other nodes, we visit exactly once, which means we have exactly one incoming and exactly one outgoing arc. Everything else in this mathematical model formulation stays the same. So with this formulation, we no longer differentiate bet between whether this, ca this cargo bike is red or this one is blue or vice versa. But instead, we just say there's a cargo bike traveling here and there's another, another cargo bike traveling down here. That results in considerably fewer decision variables because we don't have this third dimension on our decision variable x. This also results in considerably fewer symmetry, uh, which together, of course, results in a considerable reduction of runtime of off-the-shelf solvers. And there's also quite a few other advantages and disadvantages. And this is what I would like you to look into. What I would like you to take away from this web lecture is, first of all, the two-index formulation of the vehicle routing problem. How do we write this? What I would like you to look into is this comparison between two-index and three-index formulation. What we're going to look into in two follow-up web lectures is, first of all, how we introduce capacities and, secondly, how we introduce timing. Thanks.